creating an email marketing campaign with video can help you increase email click-through rates, CTR, but is this what you really want? Hey, this is Josias. And yes, using video in your email marketing campaigns can help you increase engagement. However, you should choose the video KPIs, the campaign KPIs, any type of KPIs that you really need in relation to your business goals, campaign goals that you are really looking for. Let's see this with an example. Before I continue, please subscribe to this channel right now so that you can keep learning more about how to engage with your saturated audience one individual at a time at scale and automatically. All right, let's get into it. Let's say you are an e-commerce company. It is Christmas and you have an email contact list of, let's say, 100,000 people, just for the sake of simplicity. And your business goal is to achieve at least 10,000 US dollars in sales from this single email campaign. You've heard that using video in email marketing campaigns helps you increase conversions. So here you go. You create a wonderful video. You spend a few hundreds or even thousands of dollars in this video. You embed it in your email blast, send a campaign, and then nothing happens. It is fair to say that during Christmas, email marketing conversions go up. But still, how can you reach your goals? How can you reach your specific KPIs? In this case, we are talking about sales. Let's say the following are your numbers. Your average product is priced at around $100. Your average email open rate is 20%. Your average email CTR is 1%. Your average conversion rate is 10%. Which one should you measure and optimize for this particular campaign? Remember that your goal is to achieve 10,000 US dollars in sales from this single email. And also, how can video help you achieve or exceed your sales goals? Well, it depends. There are many ways to use video in an email marketing campaign. Some will help you achieve what you want, in this case, 10,000 US dollars, but other ways will get you quite far away from your goals. And you don't want that to happen. For example, let's say that we are talking about a B2C audience. There are different ways you can use video in your email marketing campaigns. Choosing one or the other one can have a huge impact in your conversions. So I'm going to go over a few options so that you can better understand how to apply them to different situations according to your business goals. If you add a YouTube video to your email campaigns, there is a decent chance that a lot of people will actually watch the video, which is great. You want that to happen. However, most of them will not take action. You do not want that to happen. This means that your CTR could be high, depending on the promise the video offers, but your conversion rate will be damaged. Second scenario, if you embed a video file in your email and people can actually watch the video right from the email, which is great, a lot of these contacts will see a fallback image. Why? A lot of people use Gmail, for example, and email clients like Gmail will only play YouTube videos. So in the end, if you're talking about a B2C audience, a lot of these individuals will actually watch a fallback image, a JPEG or an animated gift. This means that similar to the previous scenario, it is possible that these contacts watch the video, maybe, but they will not have an easy way to take action. If you're talking about a B2C audience, most of them will actually not watch the video. Third scenario, if you send an email campaign with video and add an attractive video thumbnail and reinforce it with a powerful call to action button, your CTR will be higher. However, there are three different things that can happen depending on where the video is presented. Number one, if the video is played from the landing page of the service like YouTube, Vimeo or similar services, the email contacts will totally get lost and distracted. Chances are that they will end up watching a video from your competitors. It will be extremely hard to push them to buy from your e-commerce. Scenario number two, if the video is played from a landing page, from a video landing page, even if it is a personalized landing page, like personal pages, a dynamic landing page that our video personalization software automatically creates for each personalized video, the contact will need one more step to find and buy the product from your e-commerce site. That's probably an extra step you want to avoid. Third scenario, if the video is played from the product landing page instead, the contact can buy the product right away and can even buy more products. From this angle, in my opinion, this is the best approach. You need to bring it down to the numbers and test it. So with all this information, what should you optimize? Email open rates, CTR, click through rates, or conversion rates? Well, in my opinion, all of them. And here is how. To increase your email open rates, 
you can warm your audience up in advance. Make sure they are ready to receive this email and take action. Another thing you can do is to send follow-up messages. They are extremely helpful. Here's the deal, we are all busy. We all need reminders. Something else you can do is to A-B test subject lines beforehand. Select five to 10% of your audience to A-B test email subject lines. To increase the click-through rates or CTR of these email campaigns, you can do the following. Use personalization based on real customer data, if you have it. If you can, go the extra mile and create messages based on specific buyer personas. And if you can, and this is a lot better, go the extra, extra mile and use augmented buyer persona. An augmented buyer persona is when you combine, when you mix your buyer persona plus the data, the real data you have about this particular individual. So real customer data. You can use shopping cart information. You can use information about previous products they have bought, maybe age, location, any type of information that can help you create more targeted and highly relevant messages. In the end, context is key. The more you can contextualize these emails, the higher the conversions you'll get. Something else you can do is to optimize the videos. People love videos, we all do, and videos deliver great results. However, as a marketer, it is your duty to help them understand what's in for them if they watch the video now. To increase sales conversions, you can do the following. Use a clickable in video call to action with personalization. I'll say this again, use a clickable, so you can click on it in video call to action with personalization. These are extremely effective and here is why. In the end, we are talking about sales. People need a clear call to action to take action. So add a clickable call to action to your videos and use personalization to make it highly relevant to the context, concerns, and desires of these contacts. Don't wait until the end of the video to show the call to action. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please use the comments below. I'll be happy to get back to you with an answer. Also, if you liked this video, please give it a like. This will help you and other people find this video and it will help me create better content to serve you better. That's all for now. Have a great day. Take care. See you later. Bye.